Have you ever considered how vulnerable the real estate industry is to cyber attacks? Well, the past few months have seen a spree of such incidents that have left many companies scrambling to secure their digital fortresses. In late October, the personal data of almost 14.7 million customers of mortgage servicer Mr. Cooper Group was stolen in a cyber attack. A shocking revelation to say the least, considering the sensitive nature of the data that was compromised. However, this was just the beginning. November saw Fidelity National Financial come under cyberfire, causing disruptions to its services. The attackers did not discriminate, going after both big and small fish in the real estate pond. As we moved into the festive season, the attacks showed no signs of slowing down. In late December, First American Financial was targeted in a cyber attack, resulting in the theft and encryption of company data, a chilling reminder of the digital threats that companies face in this day and age. Fast forward to the present, and we find Loan Depot, the second largest non-bank mortgage lender, grappling with the aftermath of a cyber attack. Currently, the company is investigating the extent of the incident and taking steps to minimize its impact. While these incidents have certainly shaken up the real estate industry, they have also served as a wake-up call. Companies are now more aware than ever of the need for robust cybersecurity measures. So what did we learn from this walk through the timeline of cyber attacks in the real estate industry? It's clear that no company, regardless of its size or stature, is immune to these digital threats. The attacks on Mr. Cooper Group, Fidelity National Financial, First American Financial and Loan Depot are stark reminders of this harsh reality. In conclusion, the past few months have been a cybersecurity nightmare for the real estate industry. From the theft of personal data to disruptions in service, these cyber attacks have laid bare the vulnerabilities in the industry's digital defenses. And as we move forward, it is clear that companies will need to fortify their cyber walls if they are to withstand future attacks.